Hello, Woolburga. Woolburga. Oof. There's a face. Uh, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Yeah, you're married. I'm surprised. I really am. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the playground. My name is Stinger, and today we return to Medieval Dynasty. Now, in the last episode of Medieval Dynasty, we had to do some work for Dagobert. He wanted a whole bunch of logs in order to protect his village from some wolves. And in doing so, we encountered a strange glitch with him and Oda doing something very... Uh, inappropriate on the ceiling? I'm not exactly sure. It's not my business to say. But we went ahead and finished that task. And then we decided to work on the doing request for neighbors. We talked to Alwyn. He needed a new stick for his scythe. So we went ahead and got him a stick and provided him that. I would have thought that that would have ended his quest right there. But it apparently did not. So we are going to go back to town and check out Alwyn. See if there's anything more he wants us to do for him. Also, there has been an update to the game that includes new ho sounds. I don't know exactly what ho sounds there were in the game already, but these ho sounds are going to be much, much better. I'm sure of it. With all that said, though, let's go ahead and jump right back in to Medieval Dynasty. All right, well, it is a beautiful morning to the last day of winter. Spring will be here soon. Let's see what we have, what we need to be carrying. I also wouldn't mind selling a few things and getting some money because some of the shop owners have some really nice stuff, uh, including a scythe, which we're probably going to need. But when I checked, it's like 600 gold. So it is not cheap. We're going to have to make some stuff and save up for it. However, it doesn't look like we have a whole bunch of stuff on our person right now. How are we doing for our food and our water? Well, we could use a little bit of water. We're okay on food, though. Our health is looking low. Unfortunately, there is no broadleaf plantain around during the winter, at least none that I can find. So we're going to have to do with our health being only around half. So note to self, don't pick any fights with the wildlife this episode. Also, our stink meter is pretty high. I want to start doing some flirting. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow when all our meters get reset and I'm no longer stinky because I still can't find a way to make planks. All right, well, we made it to town, and on the way, I made some stone skinning knives from some rocks and sticks that I picked up, and also some more of the pointy sticks. Hey, Unighost, can I sell you some stuff? Show me your wares, please. I have some things I would like to sell you. I have 11 wooden spears for seven apiece. That's not a whole bunch, but you know what? We're going to sell them because they're pretty easy to make. And next is the stone knife. We're going to get 11 for that, and we have 7. So let's go ahead and sell you all of those. That gets us 77 gold. Yes, please. We now have 190 gold. We have a lot more to do before we're going to get to 600. How much for a throwing rock? You're going to give me 2 gold for a throwing rock? I don't know if that's really how much they should be going for, because one normal rock will make 5 throwing rocks. So... That's not a bad profit. Let's go ahead and sell those. I don't need them that bad. And we got 19 sticks, but we can do other things with those. We only have one stone. All right, well, that was great. Hello, Alwyn. Oh, I was just talking about you. Hey, come back. What's new, Alwyn? How are you doing? He says, hi. Okay. I'm tired of my mother conflict with Jeroguna. Her son, Delbor, won't leave my little sister, Olga, alone continue Alwyn oh, I understand it's just a game for him after all when I was his age I played with Dobromira his older sister I was a knight with a stick instead of a sword but I defended her honor like every good knight does it's honorable anyway you're a fool I think he needs something to keep him busy and away from my sister are you calling me a fool or him a fool so that you can have some peace too, huh? Well, it would be nice. Okay, well, I'm going to end the dialogue now, Alwyn. Let's go ahead and see where that is. That's going to be this way. Okay, is this the little rat? Is this the little fink? Hey, you, I got a word for you, Del Boar. You're Del Boar, right? Yes. You look very strong for your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a knight? Yes! It's my dream. Are you a knight? No, but I know a lot about them. Have you heard that all of them start learning how to fight with a wooden sword? 
Already at your age? Where can I get such a sword, not a knight? It just so happens that I have one with me, and I can give it to you because you're clearly worthy. I am honored. It may look inconspicuous, but it is certainly an excellent practice weapon for an inspiring knight like you. Give stick. It looks a bit like a regular stick. To surprise your opponents. And do you know what else knights do besides fighting battles? They ride horses? This is well, but most of them protect the ladies and the children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them. Really? Sounds like a lot of work. Yes, this is the most important principle of chivalry. All right, thank you for the sword, not a knight. Now I'm gonna go defend the ladies and the children. You're welcome, young master. You're welcome. Okay, we have updated Alwyn's story. Did that complete all of them? No, it did not. It looks like we need to go talk to Alwyn again, so we will go do that, since he's just right over here anyway. What's up, Alwyn? I solved your problem with Dalebor. Yes, I saw him running around the village with a stick. That quickly? I mean, he's 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 over there. You're in the field working. I just came from him. You must have an amazing gift of persuasion. This young one doesn't listen to anyone. Well, you gave me the idea with that stick in the night story. I got this bread from Dobromira as an apology for her brother's behavior, but I think you've earned it. Here, take it. Well, huh, bread? Are you kidding? For me? Thank you, Alwyn. No problem, sometimes she gives me things for her mother's tavern. Okay, oh, you're close. How close are you, Alwyn? No, hmm, I do not know. All right then, see you soon. Later, Alwyn, bye. New level diplomacy, was that it? Did we complete the do something for thou neighbor? Let's check our journal and find that one out. Chapter three, good morning, my neighbors. Yes, we did. We completed some quests for neighbors. Now we just need to do some successful flirting, but that will have to wait until my stench meter is depleted. Until then, let's go stink it up and get some more manure for next season's crops. Fertilizer, you have 136 cow patties in your barn? Wow, you are really packing it in. I would like some of that though. We have 25 spots in our garden, so let's go ahead and pick up 25 pieces of fertilizer. Can we do that without being overburdened? That is the question. Oh, we can only buy 19. That's strange. You have 136. Oh, because you're selling it for 10 a piece, and we only have 190-ish gold. Okay, well, we'll take the 19. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make some more pointy sticks and some stone skinny knives so that we can afford some more of his BS. New building unlocked. Tavern 1. Wow. I was just making some pointy sticks and that popped up. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we need more people in our settlement in order to make these buildings. New level of crafting, right on. Let's go check that out right now. We can do diplomatic policy. That gives us a one more skill point from diplomacy activities. Would, would that count getting a wife? Uh, this one's in progress. Let's go ahead and do this one. We'll increase that level. And we also have a point to spend over here in crafting. We have crafting knowledge plus one more skill point from crafting activities. That would be great. What? Let's do that one. There we go. Awesome. Now, let's go into town and sell some of this stuff. Looks like we might need to get a bite to eat as well. At least a little bit of one. Ooh, a rock. Oh, that one rock made us overburdened. Are you kidding me? Hello, George Wiener. I would like to have you show me some of your wares, if you would. I have seven stone skinny knives that I would love to sell you, pretty lady. Let's go ahead and do that. You're going to give me 11 gold piece, so that's not too bad. We also have five of these wooden spears. Would you like to buy those for seven gold a piece? Yes, you would. Thank you very much for your business. I do appreciate it. How much is this flatbread we got? You're oh, only four? That's not very much. And it gives you quite a bit of nutrition too. And the stones and the sticks are definitely not worth selling. Now, what do you have here? You have St. John's wort 
which I do not need. And you have a lot of food items. So if I sold you my flatbread, you would only give me four gold for it. However, you're selling your flatbread for 20. Wow, there's a markup. I'm gonna go now, thank you very much. Boy, I'd hate to see how much you sell skinny knives for. All right, well, we made it home. It looks like I'm about to starve to death if I don't get something to eat real soon. I know it's late in the day, but maybe we have some meat that's gonna go bad pretty soon that we can eat. We do have this dried meat. I don't wanna eat that. Uh, that gives us only five nutrition. It's not a lot. You know what? I might get rid of some of these mushrooms. They're at 75%. They still have a ways to go though before they rot. What else do we have? We do have rot. An organic pulp, a resident of rotten food. Ah, oh, so we did lose some food, but it is a resource for crafting a fertilizer in the barn. Do you mean that we can actually have compost in the game? That's amazing. Thank you very much developers for putting that in the game. I do appreciate that. Let's go ahead and eat some of this. This gives us 2.5 nutrition. So we will transfer all of that. And as far as this dried meat, we have 20 dried meat. I think we're gonna just get one of them. Yes, that should do us nicely. Let's go ahead and eat that now. And that top, ooh, poisoning. Uh-oh, did we just eat a poisonous mushroom? Eating some mushrooms as well as unripe fruit and rotten food will cause poisoning which can be fatal. Uh-oh. Eating other things during that time won't fill your hunger bar. In order to cure it, you can ask your wife to heal your character or eat St. John's wort. Well, we don't have a wife, so we better grab some St. John's wort. Luckily, we do have some. We'll go ahead and take that. Oh, boy. Look at all. Oh, it, it's all wobbly. That's very strange. Okay, before we die though, let's go ahead and eat some of that. I was that's very interesting. Now, does that cure us? Are we no longer No, we're not we're still poisoned. Do we need to eat a whole bunch of this until our poison meter goes away? Uh, let's just transfer all of this then. And our poison meter is right here. So yeah, it looks like we have to just eat that until we're not poisoned anymore. Okay, no harm, no foul. We're fine and we do have enough food to last us until the next day. Let's see, can we get any more rocks and sticks to make stone skinning knives for tomorrow? Because I definitely want to buy some more fertilizer as soon as we can. And we also need to worry about getting that scythe. All right, well, I had to unfortunately eat my flatbread as I was about to die of hunger and I'm overburdened. I didn't think I was going to make it back to the house. And the only food I had was the flatbread so it is gone i am staying up late though because i'm trying to make a whole bunch of skinny knives that i can then turn around and sell in the first part of spring so i'll continue to go ahead and do that and then we'll go to sleep Ooh, we got a new level of survival doing that staying up late let's go ahead and check that one out what is that going to give us we have survival knowledge. We we have insensitive. That gives us a four degree better temperature tolerance, which is okay. Eye and liver gives us a 15% bigger resistance to poisoning, which we just had happen to us. And then we have survival sense. Sensing mushrooms, feathers, and herbs in inspector mode. Ooh, that might be nice. Is there any other ones that do that as well? For like rocks? I don't see one that does that, but we are going to use our point on survival sense if they allow it and they do so now we can see mushrooms feathers and herbs wonderful let's try that out does that show anything unplowed okay yeah we know that no i don't see anything right now okay well it looks like the game decided that we were going to go to sleep whether we wanted to or not new quest is to pay our taxes well that doesn't sound pleasant at all who wants to do that? Although all of our meters are nice and topped off, let's see how many stone skinny knives we were able to make before the game ended it for us. We have 18 on our person and we have 10 more in storage for a total of 28. So that's not too bad. And I do believe we were getting 11 a piece for that. So let's go ahead and see what all we can leave behind. We can leave the fertilizer behind for sure. Let's go ahead and do that. 
I'll keep the sticks and the stones just in case we want to make some more while we're out. The straw that I accidentally gained, though, we can transfer that over. Ah, uh, anything else? Not really. Everything else... Well, you know what? I probably don't need a hoe with me right now. So we'll transfer that. We probably don't need the hammer. We can transfer that. No, we can't. We can't transfer that? Oh, because it's equipped. Can I unequip it somehow? Probably have to go into my menu here and unequip it this way. Taxes. Taxes are paid in coins. Every spring, you will need to pay your taxes to the Castellan in the central village of Gustava. Taxes are charged for your buildings and fields. If you don't pay taxes for last year, then a debt increases with interest. The following year, you will have to pay back both debt and the new tax. Current tax with the debt is visible on the management tab. Each subsequent season, you don't pay your debt. Your dynasty reputation will suffer until you exceed minus 10,000, at which point you will be exiled from the valley and your journey will end. So lesson learned, pay your taxes. Okay, but first, let's go ahead and unequip some of this stuff. We don't need the hoe. We don't need the hammer or the shovel or the simple torch. We're going to keep our clothes. Uh, we still have more fertilizer for some reason. Let's go ahead and transfer more of that. Is the chest full? Do we not have... Oh, the chest is full. Okay, well, maybe we can use some of the chests that are outside. Oh, lovely spring day. Yeah, we have a chest right over here. Can we put stuff in this one? Yeah, it only has sticks and stones right now. In fact, we could take those out. Can we put, yes, we can put all this stuff in there. We do not need to carry it around. I will carry the stone axe just in case we want to make some more wooden spears. And let's go ahead and put in the rest of the fertilizer. We do not need it. I know this isn't really the best place to put it, but it'll work. And then we'll take out all the sticks and all the stones. Okay, great. Now that we have all that, let's go ahead and head on back into town. Okay, so look at this our inspection mode is popping what are these are these the broadleaf plantains oh my goodness happy days are here again we can see broadleaf plantains in inspector mode we are gonna stock up on these bad boys however that'll have to wait until later because we're gonna make our way to the town sell some of these stone skinning knives and maybe possibly meet some ladies all right well we made it into town Hey, Unigos, would you like to show me your wares? Let's see. You will also pay us 11 per stone skinny knife. Did we not bring them all? I could have sworn we had more than 20. Well, we'll go ahead and sell those for 220 of your gold. What else? That That's pretty much it. But first and foremost, I want to talk to some ladies. How about you? Are you single? You are 59 years old. I'm not going to have any offspring with you. So we'll go now. We might be looking in the wrong town, to be honest. Is there like a ladies night I can go to or something? Because I am not finding anybody. Hello, how are you? Hey, I got something to tell you, beautiful lady. Sorry, I don't know you well enough. Okay, but you're only 22 years old. I can't pronounce your name to save my life. But we're going to try this. Uh, hey, do you have a minute? Nice weather today we're having, don't you think? Uh, how original. Oh, wow, you're playing hard to get. Okay, uh, hey, do you have a minute? No, you're not gonna have any time for me right now? Really? One question and you're done with me? Wow, what a, hmm. Ooh, we have Erlika here. She approves of us by 68%, so we must have talked to her before. And she's only 21. Please be single. Please be single. I want to tell you something. Oh, you're married. Where's your husband so I can show him my pointy stick? I'll go for now. Goodbye. That is most unfortunate. Any ladies out in the field? Plowing? Hey, there's a lady in the field. You even got a hoe. Hey, how are you doing? You approve of us by 72%. I want to tell you something beautiful. You're married too? Why are all the good ones taken? How about you, Dobermina? Are you married? Oh, I can't even ask you that question. You're only 19. Oh, because 19 back in medieval times was too young? I think not, but I will go now. Oh, maybe in the other field? Oh, there was that new ho sound. Did you hear it? 
Listen to the hose sound. We're gonna do some ASMR with the hose. Oh yes, the most wonderfulest hose sound in all of the lands. Hello, do you know where some beautiful ladies are, Alwyn? I sure could use some. You only like us by 58% after doing all those tasks for you? Man, what an ungrateful. All right, well, I give up on this town. We're gonna have to go across the river to the town of Hello, Ida, I can pronounce your name. You don't look super old. You are 41. Uh, you're a little bit old, but you do have things to sell. What do you have to sell? You have eggs, animal feed, and feathers. You're selling those for 10. Animal feed is 50? Ouch. Uh, do we have anything to sell to you? I do have some more sticks and stones, but no, I don't really have anything. Well, I can sell you some mushrooms. You'll buy those. I mean, I'm not going to eat them anyway. I don't really like mushrooms, to be honest. I just got back from work in the field. Tough job. Oh, that improved it a little bit. Great. Yes, but with experience, it can be just a little bit easier. You don't say. Do you have a minute? Recently, I got into honey. Got any tips? Ooh, that's a plus two. Really? That's it? Sorry, I don't know much about it. Oh, what would I do to get some venison? So tasty. Sorry, what were we talking about? Well, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Are you of childbearing? No, you're married. Okay. Oh, okay, you're married. That's unfortunate. Is this your daughter? Oh, hello, Melina. How are you? You're 16. Okay, I'll, I'll go now. All right, got some people around the campfire. What's up, Ludomira? How are you doing? I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Hey, do you have a minute? You're 20 years old. That's not bad. How are you been lately? I'm splendid. Good to know people think about me. I think about you every day, Ludora Mia if that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, do you have a minute? What a day, I've been working almost nonstop, but I know my hard work will pay off. You know what I'm saying? Early bird, gets the worm. Oh, ooh, that went up by 10, exactly. Always as I said, through hard work, we can achieve riches beyond our imagination. She's pretty, she's of age, she has every single quality we're looking for. Will she be married? Oh, she's married. Oh, where's your husband? I want to kill him. All right, well, we're going to have to go then. Goodbye. That is mo... No, definitely not going to talk to you. Okay, 26. Approves of us only by 50%. Her name is Leonarda. Okay, it's kind of like Leonardo, but not quite. Hey, do you have a minute? Nice weather. How original. Oh, great. Now you're not going to talk to me, are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thanks for nothing. Okay, so note to self, don't talk about the weather to the ladies. Hey, this one's got a chicken coop. Inga, you're 21. You don't hate us. You have a minute. What a day. I've been working almost nonstop. Don't wave me off yet. But I know my hard work will pay off. You know what I'm saying? Early bird, guess the worm. We need to get new material for real. Oh, that went down by a minus five. I'm not sure if that's true. Otherwise, I'd probably be a noble right now. Can we talk to you a little bit more? No, you have no time to talk to me. Great. Oh, this successful flirting is going splendidly. All right, well, I think we're done with that town. I think we're going to try to go to a brand new town that we've never been before to. And I think that's going to be Horica down here. I think it's Hornica. Yeah, Hornica. We're going to make our way down there and hope that that's a big town. It kind of looks like it is got quite a few buildings right here it's gonna be a long trek but one I think that we need to make so let's go ahead and head on over there and see if we can meet any beautiful ladies okay well we're making our way to Hornica right now we picked up quite a few stones on the way so we might go ahead and make some more skinny knives uh, in while we're in town and get a little bit of extra coin but the first and foremost thing I want to do is meet some new ladies Hello, you're 22. You're probably married, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Hey, do you have a minute? How's the job? I hope you're doing all right. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. You seem reliable. Maybe you could help me sometime. I could totally help you anytime you want. Uh, do you have a minute? What a day. I've been working almost nonstop, but I know my hard work will pay off. You know what I'm saying? Early bird gets the worm. Well, it's good to work hard, but one should not overwork himself. Okay, well, you're still at 55. I want to tell you something beautiful. You're married. Hello, Albrita. You're 24. You approve of us a little bit. I want to tell you something. You're married. I'm just going to skip the small talk and go straight into the are you married, I think. 
Hello, Woolburga. Woolburga. Ooh, there's a face. Uh, I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Yeah, you're married. I'm surprised. I really am. Hello, how are you? You're 20 years old. You approve of us by 50%. I can't pronounce your name if I tried. I want to tell you something. Oh, she's not married. Okay, we have to romance her a little bit. Hey, do you have a minute? How's the job? I hope you're doing all right. That went up by five. I enjoy what I'm doing. You seem reliable. Maybe you could help me sometime. You know I can. Hey, do you have a minute? Have you seen that noble who was passing nearby? Or what a day. I've been working almost nonstop. Oh, I don't know her well enough to know which one. But I'm going to say since she's a little bit younger, maybe she's interested in the nobles. What do you think, sir? Do you think that's a good idea? No? No, he was shaking his head. Oh, minus two. Looks aren't everything, you know. Can I talk to you a little bit more? Do you have a No. I want to tell you something. Ah! No, she doesn't want to talk to us. That is very unfortunate. Maybe she will here in a little bit. Zygmunta? Hi, Zygmunta. How are you? You're only 22. Can I can I talk to you for a minute? How you been lately? I'm fine. Oh, that didn't move your needle at all. Okay. Uh, do you have a minute? Oh, uh, how have you been? Still nothing. Uh, have a minute? Recently, I got into hunting. Any tips? Ooh, plus five. We've, you've got a lot to learn. Maybe I could teach you someday. It's always nice to see people taking up this noble pastime. It sure is. Uh, do you have a minute? No, you have no time for idle chat, but can I tell you something, beautiful lady? No, you don't well, oh, you don't know me well enough. But at least you're not married. That's a win in my book. This town is already looking more promising than any other. Do you have a minute? Have you heard any good gossip lately? That didn't change anything at all. Do you have a minute? What a day. I've been working almost non-stop. That was a plus 10. That's pretty good. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. It looks like your kid just walked in the door. I hope you're not married. Oh, darn it. She is married. Oh, that was her kid. That's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, finally get somewhere and they have to be married. What about you? Is that your kid over there just hovering? Just sitting on nothing but air? Yeah, what you sitting on, son? Leopold? Is that your son, Leopold, the amazing sitter? Uh, I want to tell you something. Yep, I, I knew it. You were married. Okay, great. Have fun with that. I'm splendid. Good to know people think about me. I do. Hey, do you have a minute? How's the job? I hope you're doing all right. Creating is my passion. Approved by 12%. This is looking promising. Bogna is 25%. She's probably married because she's actually talking to me. But hey, do you have a minute? I recently got into hunting. Got any tips? That didn't change anything, but it didn't hurt anything either. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Of course, obviously. Why wouldn't she be married? She's talking to us. She has to be married. Well, it's getting quite late in the day, and I am running out of options, unfortunately. I kind of want to go back and pay our taxes, though. So we're going to do that. We're going to try for it. It is a long journey, but hopefully we can make it. And I'm gonna need to eat anyway real soon. So we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Before we do though, let's buy some food. Show me your wares. Do you have any food? No, but you have some really cool stuff for sale. A crossbow? Wow, dude. I know where to come for weapons. That's amazing. Okay, well we're gonna have to try to make our way home. I don't know if we're gonna do it. Well, not home, but Gustava, and see if we can't pay our taxes a little bit. All right, well, we made it into the town. I'm not exactly sure where I need to go to pay my taxes, but let's go in here. Uh, there's nobody in here. I want to, let's see, if I go to map, where do I pay my taxes? Is it the question mark right there? Is that where I pay my taxes? I would have thought it would be Unigos where I pay my taxes. Uh, but everybody seems like they're going inside now. Oh, uh, you're sleeping now, huh? Can I talk to you? She's not interested in talking to you right now. Yeah, everybody's sleeping. That is not good. I need to find somebody that's willing to sell me something because I need to eat. Uh, what about in here? You guys still awake? No, you're asleep as well. That's unfortunate. Okay, what about you? How are you doing, Sodomir? You're not going to talk to me either. You're going to bed, I would assume. And I guess so should I. 
Hopefully I can make it back to my place before they just decide to put me in the next day. Although, when they force you to go to sleep, you do start off back in your own house. So if we don't make it, it should be fine. Okay, well we did make it home. So let's go ahead and... Actually, can we get some water before we pass out? Because we'll probably be really needing it in the morning. Let's go ahead and drink. And we also need to get some food in us. And I think all my food's inside. I don't even know how much food I have. I know I have some of that dried meat. But I don't believe that we have anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. Ooh, it's only at 50%. That's not good. Let's go ahead and transfer all of that. We might as well eat as much as we possibly can. Okay, well, it looks like eating that will get us up to 98%, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and go to sleep for the evening and wake up in the next day. And just like that, it is the next day. Let's look at our garden. That's our wheat right there. Now, in the next episode of Medieval Dynasty, we still need to successfully flirt. So I'm sure we'll be heading back to that town and attempting round two of it. However, we are going to need to also focus on more food and paying our taxes. I'm not exactly sure where we pay our taxes. That does appear, though, that it is in the journal, so we have to do that. Can we track that quest? Yes, we can. Okay, great. Then we go to our map, and where is it on the map? Uh, does it show us on the map? Yes, it's right there, that direction. Anyway, that's where we're going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Medieval Dynasty, please do leave a like as that helps out my channel a great deal. If you want to know exactly when we come back to Medieval Dynasty, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. However, thank you very much for joining me here in the playground. Once again, my name is Stinger, and I will see you in the next episode. Kill you. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Oh no! Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go!